Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chris and I'm glad you came along for the adventure today. We are currently camping in Ellysburg, Pennsylvania at a campground called J&D Campground. Uh, it's a pretty cool place. Um, we came up here actually to go to Knobles for the opening weekend. Uh, so we're, we're hoping to have a pretty good time there. Maury's been wanting to come for a while and we figured no better time than now. So here we are. Um, you know, we're looking to have a pretty good weekend here. The weather's supposed to be beautiful. Um, you know, if I if I sound a little nasally, I apologize. Uh, it is spring in Pennsylvania, and my allergies are really kicking my butt right now. So, uh, and you know what? Before I forget, uh, if you'd like to get entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is comment, like, subscribe. The keyword for today's video is going to be happy, because the gentleman that brought us in here and took us to our site today was definitely incredibly happy. Uh, you know, he he really I hope set the tone for an awesome weekend here. Um, you know, definitely had some incredible energy, loving his vibes, just a really cool down to earth dude. Um, I, I'm, I apologize, I don't actually know his real name, um, but you know, just, uh, just a really friendly gentleman. So, um, yeah, but anyway, like I said, we are up here to go visit Knobles. Uh, you know, there's a couple attractions that we would like to see, Phoenix being one of them. Uh, you know, of course, we got to ride the train. Um, I'd like to do the sky view and, uh, and the haunted house. Um, you know, it looks like we're going to have a great weekend for weather. Um, don't know if we'll be able to get to all of that. You know, it is opening weekend. I don't know. We've, I haven't been here since I was a little kid, actually. So, you know, I don't know how long the lines are going to be. And, and we kind of have a little bit of a short window um, to be able to, to go and do everything. Uh, you know, the park only opens at 12 o'clock. And uh, we got to get back. We have, we have our dogs with us in the camper. So, you know, we can't be there too, too long. Um, but, yeah, so I hope we're, hope we're going to be able to do the things we want to do. And, and uh, you know, if, if Knobles is your thing or amusement parks are your thing, uh, you know, I hope you stick with us and check it out because we're going to have a pretty good time today. So, without further ado, let's get this adventure started.
Well, we are back from Knobles. Um, you know, we had we had a great time. You know, we really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, it was a beautiful day. The weather was incredible. Uh, we didn't get to get on as many rides as we would have liked. Uh, you know, the biggest ones we wanted to get on were the, it was the Skyview, I believe it's called. We wanted to get on the Phoenix, and we wanted to go on the Haunted Mansion because this year is actually the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion, the 50th year anniversary. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, the lines were way too long for the Phoenix and the Haunted Mansion, and the Skyview was closed this weekend, which was kind of bummer, uh, you know, but hopefully we'll we'll be able to get a, a trip back, you know, probably not this year, but the next time we go back, you know, we're definitely going to try to get on those. Um, but, you know, all in all, we had a great day. Uh, we probably ate too much food. The food there is absolutely delicious. Um, you know, if you don't know much about Knobles, Knobles is uh, located in Ellysburg, Pennsylvania, um, and it is a free amusement park. You do not have to pay to park. You do not have to pay admission to get into the park. Um, the only thing is is pay to ride whatever ride you want to ride. So, um, you know, the cool thing is, is, is uh, you know, you can either buy tickets to be able to get on the rides or you can buy like an all-day wristband. So, you know, I, I guess in that aspect, it would kind of be like, you know, paying for admission to get in. But, um, you know, you don't have to. So that was one of the awesome things that Maury and I took advantage of since we haven't been there. I don't, Maury's never been there and I haven't been there since I was a little kid. So technically, you know, I, I really haven't been there. I don't remember much of it, unfortunately. But, um, you know, so we took the time to uh, just kind of walk around and, and uh, you know, see what's there and, and just really enjoy ourselves. So uh, we had a great time. Fortunately for us, we don't live too terribly far from Kenobel. So, you know, for us to be able to go back and get on rides and, and stuff like that, you know, isn't really that big of a deal. So, um, but, you know, I hope you did enjoy the some of the footage that we had from the park. Like I said, it was... Knobles was popping this weekend, man. It was, they, they definitely had a crowd, which is awesome to see. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've really been enjoying post COVID scenes, um, you know, with everybody starting to get out and just really enjoy themselves and, and not wearing the masks all the time. And, you know, not that I'm like an anti mask or anything, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just really nice to be able to get out and about and, and, and things, you know, appear to be back to normal, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, anyway, so I, I believe, uh, you know, we're we're going to get something to eat here. We're kind of hungry. Uh, you know, the dogs are hungry. So, um, yeah, we're going to we're going to make some food and, and just kind of sit back and relax for the evening. So. See, you know, I did want to want to go over uh, the campground a little bit here. You know, I didn't really talk a whole lot about it. Um, J&D Campground was a really nice place to stay at. Um, you know, if you plan on staying here, you're thinking about staying here, or really any of the campgrounds that are around the way, 
you're probably here for the same reason that we were, and that is to go to Knobles. So, um, you know, just be prepared that it is a family campground. Um, all the campgrounds around here for for Knobles are pretty much based with families that are coming up here. Um, you know, and, and it's a good time, but it is a little louder. Um, you know, there there's a lot of activity going on. Um, you know, which sometimes our dogs don't always like. Um, you know, and and but. It was a really fun time. But yeah, you know, I did kind of want to go over some of the pros and cons of the campground. Um, you know, one of the things that I will say, uh, which, you know, could be a pro or a con, uh, depending on how you look at it, is they, you know, they're pretty strict on their rules. Um, not that I want to say that they're overbearing, but, uh, you know, the one thing that I think that I find kind of comical is, um, you know, like I said before, we belong to Thousand Trails membership. And, um, you know, a lot of people throughout Thousand Trails complain a lot about the rules the regulations and some of that um and, and i think it's kind of funny because really anytime that we go outside of of the thousand trails network whether it be we go to state parks or we go to um privately owned campgrounds or public campgrounds um i would have to say that their rules and regulations are far often more strict than what they are in thousand trails um, you know, I'm not saying by any means that Thousand Trails is, is a, a free-for-all, um, because it's not, you know, they, they have a very good system and they're very good at what they do, but what I would recommend, and I, and I mean this with the utmost respect, um, is if you belong to Thousand Trails and, and you may be one of those people who, um, complain about their rules, uh, or, or things that other campers do, when when they come into one of the thousand trails resorts um you know it, it might be a humbling experience for you to go out and 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 just try going to a different campground sometime um you know outside of the thousand trails network and and see what other public and, and private campgrounds are like um because i i think that you may realize along the way that things at thousand trails aren't nearly as bad as what they are um, you know, and the other thing that people have to realize is, is since COVID hit and the traveling world has completely shut down, uh, you know, and granted it's open again, you know, but people turned to camping and you had a lot of people who weren't necessarily, um, you know, acclimated with the, you know, the do's and don'ts of camping or, or, you know, the, the respect or just kind of the, the common courtesies that, a lot of the older people in the RV community, you know, take for granted, and, and it's just things that we do. Um, you know, I, for one, um, when, when I had started camping, you know, I was a little bit more of a partier and, and get out and drink and, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, so obviously that does rub people the wrong way at times, you know, if you're getting out and having a good time. But, you know, you also have to realize that that you are simply there for that, you know, as long as people are being respectful of others, um, you know, it is okay to go out and, and have a good time. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with going out and, and listening to a little bit of music, uh, you know, as long as you're within the quiet hours and you're, you know, you're not blaring it that people can hear it, you know, multiple campsites away, um, you know, and, and, and have a game of cornhole and whatnot. Um, you know, but I, I think some people, at least when, when we go or, or, you know, the comments that we read in, in some of these Facebook groups with Thousand Trails and, and how these people want to get on and just castrate other people because, oh my God, their kids are riding bicycles and, and where are the parents and, and people are speeding or people are doing this and that. Um, you know, my, my recommendation for you, and, and, and yes, I'm not going to sit here and say that it doesn't get frustrating or it doesn't get annoying because it, it certainly does at times. But what I would recommend doing is, you know, these, these people may be new to camping. Um, and, and one thing that I've noticed and, and even myself, you know, when, when Corona hit and, and we all had the shelter in place, um, we experienced a different world that the majority of us had never experienced before. Um, it was different. And now coming out of that, you know, I almost kind of feel like people forgot how to interact with each other or forgot how to talk to people. Um, you know, and, and a lot of times people would much rather go on the internet and, and, and blow you out um, instead of just kind of walking up to you and having a conversation and maybe explaining to somebody, um, you know, the, this is kind of how things go. And, and obviously, you know, you want to do it in a respectful way. Um, and, and you're not always going to, 
you know, get people who are going to be 100% receptive of that. You know, I mean, I, I've, I've had situations as well where, you know, you try to explain to somebody, um, you know, why you do or don't do something um, and, and just kind of try to better acclimate them into the RV community. Um, and, and it's also backfired when, sorry, my GoPro overheated there. But um, anyway, I, I guess the point that I was trying to, to get to there is, you know, don't be afraid to go up to your neighbors and introduce yourself um, and, and, you know, just help people if they need help. Um, you know, the RV community is a very tight knit community and we, we like to help each other. Um, you know, if you have an issue, don't be afraid to ask somebody, um, you know, how to be able to resolve that because everybody has tips and tricks. Um, you know, everybody does something probably a little different or, you know, they have their own method to their madness. But, you know, on the other hand, we are more than willing to go out of our way to be able to help somebody in need. Um, you know, so don't be afraid to, 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 to talk to your fellow campers and, and, um, anyway, so <clears throat> some of the pros and cons that, uh, about J and D campground, like I said, there, there's not really a whole lot of cons. Um, you know, they, they do have some, some stricter policies, you know, you're not allowed to have tents there and you cannot have anything on the grass. I don't know if that is a permanent thing or if it was more just so, um, you know, because maybe they have some grass planted. Um, I did know at our site that we were at, um, I noticed that there was some hay on the ground um, and the grass was a little bit longer. Like, you know, they hadn't come around and, and cut the grass that was in our area. And I would imagine that's because that they have grass seed planted. Um, and, and, you know, that was on me. I, I did absolutely <laughs> accidentally um, set up our little, our little outdoor canopy thing that you'll see. Um, I, I set that up partially on the grass, but you know, the only reason that we had really set it up to begin with is, is we, our dog stays in there. So when we go in to watch movies, instead of her being on a leash and, and get tangled around our, um, our chairs, it's easier for her to just kind of roam around inside this little screen enclosure that we have. So, um, you know, that was why we had that set up, but um, you know, outside of that, yeah, it, it was a really nice, well-maintained, well-kept campground. Uh, you know, like I said, the staff was very friendly. Um, you know, the restrooms were clean. They had a really nice laundry room, laundry facility. Uh, the pool looked like it was a little on the small side, um, you know, but on the other hand, again, the people who go there are mainly going to Knobles, I would imagine. So Knobles does have a swimming pool. They do have water attractions there. Uh, you know, if it's a hot day, so I don't really think that that would be an issue that their pool's on the smaller side. Um, the only other thing that I saw was, is there, they did kind of have a lack of a, of a campground store. Um, you know, I am used to going to other facilities that have a little bit more to choose from, especially if you are in need of something. Um, Ellisburg is kind of really in the middle of nowhere, at least that, that I have seen. Um, you know, so you're going to have to travel somewhere if you didn't do need to get something for your RV. Um, luckily we didn't, but we have been in a situation where we've needed something before and we're able to get it from the campground store. Uh, you know, like I said there, they, they didn't really have a whole lot to choose from. Um, but they did have really nice lakes. They had really nice pavilions. Um, like I said, everything was really well upkept. Um, I want to say the favorite part about where, where we stayed, um, is right back behind, um, there was like a little rock area there where they, where they keep their dumpsters. And down behind the dumpsters is a walking path that you can make your way down to a, a pretty big stream that's down there. Um, and, and Maury and I just sat there and, and really just enjoyed our evening, um, you know, before we went back and cooked supper. So uh, we had a really good time. Um, like I said, I would, I would recommend it. Uh, you know, I know Lake Glory gets a little full and Knobles Campground itself uh, gets very full because it's literally you're right there um, beside the park. Uh, but I would, uh, you know, if you can't get into those, there, there's no, nothing wrong with checking out J and D. Um, they are actually closer than Lake Glory, but they do not offer a shuttle service to the park, which is kind of a downside, but again, parking's free. Um, you know, you, you don't have to pay to park. You can get right in there. Um, and, and no issues, you know, you have to walk a little bit, but, uh, it was a really good time. I mean, you're, you're going to amusement park to, to walk around. So I wouldn't necessarily say that that's a con, but, um, yeah, you know, just, just be mindful. Their rates, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's their rates all the time. I believe we paid $70 a night, which to me um, is very reasonable, you know, given the accommodations that they have there, um, you know, which I believe all of their sites are three-point hookups. I know ours was, um, but yeah, so 
like I said, I would definitely recommend checking out JD Campground. Um, all right, well, I think that's going to conclude our stay here at J&D Campground um, and our trip to Knobles. You know, we had a really good time. We had a really fun weekend. Um, definitely ate too much food that we probably should not have eaten, but it was delicious. If you, uh, if you know, if you're around Ellisburg, Pennsylvania, make sure you check out Knobles. It, definitely make sure you check out their food because their food is delicious. Um, so yeah, you know, we had a really good time. This was actually, it was my wife's first time being in Knobles and she has been, been very anxious to go for, for quite some time now. So, you know, we're certainly glad that we were able to get out and do that. We had a beautiful weekend, um, and, and really just enjoyed our time here. So, um, don't forget to get entered into our giveaway. Uh, the keyword for today's video is going to be happy because, uh, you know, the gentleman that, that, that greeted us when we first got to this campground was, was certainly an extremely happy fella and, you know, definitely made our stay at J and D campground, um, you know, a, a very memorable one. So, uh, you know, we will be back in the future. I hope that you guys decide to check it out as well. I will leave a link down below to uh, to their campsite if you would like to be able to make reservations for them. When we were there, they did say that they had some reservations available still near um, uh, September and October, but I believe they close um, like middle of October. So um, yeah, make sure you check them out. And uh, like I said, if you like this video, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Mm -hmm.